Okay, people, so if you're watching this, then you probably want to know my film idea. So basically, this is a pitch. Our main character is Mr. Frankenstein, or Dr. Frankenstein, or however you call him, or whatever he's going to be. He's a boy genius, a medical student. Um, so he finishes university, or college, or what have you. And he gets into Clive Allen books. Now, Clive Allen is, of course, the uh, author slash murderer in The Hanley Disappearances. And basically, he kind of drops off the map and becomes a recluse interested in these Hamley woods. Basically, he listens to a podcast, which, which is about a guy, or a group of guys, but one of them, goes around to different towns and makes episodes about different unsolved paranormal mysteries, what have you, and unsolved murders, all that jazz, that the podcaster gets an email from Dr. Frankenstein. Dr. Frankenstein wants him to come over and so they can talk and basically have a kind of formal interview and see whether um, the podcaster knows that Dr. Frankenstein has enough issue to warrant being let on as a guest. So he heads over to Dr. Frankenstein's place, and of course the podcaster is thinking that he's going to be talking and um, with Dr. Frankenstein about, you know, the woods and all of the things that um, they were trying to figure out in the Hanley disappearances. However, Dr. Frankenstein is actually grilling him for information. Um, he's subtly letting on, like, certain tidbits. Um, to try and see whether the podcaster already has enough knowledge and a kind of comprehension of how to investigate paranormal mysteries because Dr. Frankenstein is trying to see whether, whether this horror podcast host is actually worthy of being the brain to his monster that he is creating in the other room. Now, the monster he's creating in the other room is because he's been to the Hanley Woods before. That's why he's so intrigued by them. He used, to, he used to have fond memories of going there as a kid. He goes down there to investigate, and he sees um, Marianne biting Paul. And once Marianne goes off, um, he grabs Paul's body and takes it home. Now, of course, that incident is the climax of... And so he's trying to use Paul as, um, you know, as a, a servant to go in there Um not be susceptible to vampirism, and try and bring back um, Marianne and Dracula or whatever vampire is there. So he can basically have a vampire and experiment on it and say to the world, like, yo, I am the first scientist who has an understanding of the kind of voodoo art and black magic that these uh, occults from Revival of Dracula um, inflict on people and change them that, and have an understanding of their science. So they're grilling each other. Um, you know, they're, they're, you know, having a fierce courtroom drama face off against each other. Um, at this point, Frankenstein, um, thinks he's kind of drugged the podcaster. However, um, while Frankenstein's turning away and talking, it's at this point that the podcaster reveals that he is a member of the occult. And the podcast is actually just a lure to go to different um, towns and work out which people are spoiling the unsolved mysteries and areas and try and get them to shut up or kill them or capture them and both. So in the end, Frankenstein dies um, at the hands of this occultist and the occultist takes um, Paul's body, which of, of course will be Frankenstein in some days of maybe a sequel, who knows? Um, um, so that's my idea, and um, I kind of hope that gets everything across there. Obviously, there will be some revisions when I get to actually writing it, and I'll try and keep you informed if there's any more changes to the story, but there you go. I don't know, interview with a Frankenstein or whatever. Yeah, hope you enjoyed.